So here we see in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. We're going to turn now to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Verses 13. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest your sorrow as others who have no hope. For it, if I believe, that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in what? In Christ Jesus. And it says, For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of our Lord will be by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive will remain in him, be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. Paul was always comforting us with the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ with the day of Christ, with the day of the rapture. He was comforting us. He says to them, do you think that we will sleep? No. Jesus himself speaks. He says in John 11, from verse 23 to 25, we see when he is speaking to Martha about Lazarus, he says, do you think he is asleep? And she says, yes, he is asleep until the day of resurrection. Right? Because that was their understanding, the Old Testament understanding, that they would sleep until the day of resurrection. But Jesus says, whoever is in me shall never sleep. Hallelujah! So Paul was also saying, hey, don't mourn with those that mourn for those that go and leave this earth. But those that are true born again Christians, yes, we will grieve like anybody will grieve. Jesus also grieved for Lazarus. But those that have hope in Christ and the day that we don't go to sleep, but we continue to go on to be with him, we will just return and be brought into our full glorified bodies. Amen. And those that here have the comfort to know that they can go to be with them again. Hallelujah. So, Paul made it clear that the church would not experience the day of the Lord. So let's look at the difference between the two scriptures. We can see in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 1 to 3. Now, I want us to look at throughout both these scriptures we're going to see the terms used we and you which represents believers and they and them represents the unbelievers that will go through the tribulation. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 1 to 3. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. Meaning he was saying, hey, I have taught you very, very well. I have taught you very, very well. But for when they say peace and safety, then suddenly destruction comes upon them, meaning the unbelievers, as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. Hallelujah. They shall not escape. The unbelievers shall not escape the tribulation and the day of the Lord that is at hand. But the day of Christ comes before the day of the Lord. Then he goes on to say, verse 4, But you, brethren, are not in darkness. He says, So that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are the sons of light and the sons of day. For we are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as others do. But let us watch and be sober, 
For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith, love, and in the helmet of hope of salvation. Hallelujah. Then he goes on to say, For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with Him. Therefore comfort one another with each of these and edify one another, just as you are also doing. He is saying, hey, those that go to be with the Lord that will escape this earth and their spirit and soul goes to heaven, don't worry, they will come back. Those that are alive still here in Christ will be taken on that day. Edify them, encourage them. Be ready for the day of rapture. We're going to be with them again soon. Don't let anybody deceive you. The day of the rapture is at hand. Hallelujah. 